So today we're going to be checking out two incredible mods here in BeamNG Drive. We have Fairhaven, which is a ported map from a Need for Speed game from 2012. And folks, this map has so many incredible features packed into it that this might be one of my new favorite maps of all time. And we're going to be rampaging through traffic in an armored Stambeko. So stay tuned until the end and let's jump in. So folks, isn't this a sight to behold here in BeamNG Drive? And oh my goodness. Well, there you go. You got the crash camera. Feature number one of this map uh, has been displayed to you guys. So yeah, uh, I'm using a mixture of mods here today. Uh, we've got, of course, the map, which will be linked down in the description. I'm using the enhanced camera. Uh, we've checked it out before. I just feel like for this style of map, it probably fits. Probably not going to stay in it the whole time because it does make certain people motion sick. But yeah, look at the lighting on this thing. This is an incredible port here uh, of the Need for Speed map. And there is going to be more coming, including, I think they said, potentially dynamic weather. Look, there's the speed camera, a little uh, custom UI that pops up. Even the lighting and everything can be customized on this map. Honestly, this is one of the coolest projects I've ever seen uh, here in this game. Plus... Like I said at the intro, stay tuned. We do have a vehicle that we're going to be checking out here in a minute. But I figured we'd start with some police chases. It feels right here on a map like this. Also, I don't know why that van almost just spun out. Uh, the cops are kind of angry at the moment. On, oh, let's go ahead and slide. So the map is complete. Now, I'm going to go ahead and disclaim I haven't played the, it was the one of the 2012 Need for Speed games. To be honest with you, I barely even played Unbound. I, I just haven't enjoyed them as much. I really just want a burnout game. But that's a different subject. But nonetheless, one th good thing about Need for Speed games, they normally have a lot of really wide open spaces, some cool highway systems, and uh, yeah, there's a lot to explore here. This map is absolutely gigantic. So yeah, there's plenty of opportunity for some cool police chases. Maybe we'll be able to use this as a multiplayer. It is a pretty hefty map, uh, but man, if you can run it, it is an absolute joy. Even if you're not even running it with AI, just to drive around on this thing, and oh my goodness. That was a good little hit there. But yeah, the, all the, like, the crash camera and all that is optional. Now, that wasn't the crash camera there. It's not until you, like, hit something really hard that it enables. Kind of looks like an old, like, burnout-style crash camera. Also, they totally just knocked off my exhaust there. Uh, dude, this looks like, I mean, there's something different about a lo the lighting on this. And I, I'm going to read a little bit more about it, uh, but... It's just, I don't know, it doesn't even look like Beam and G anymore. Like, it kind of does look like we're playing a Need for Speed game. So, here we are back out. The cops are no longer angry at us. Huh? Let's go back to the normal camera. This might be a little bit more familiar to you guys. So, one really cool thing about the map, check this out. We're going to go to Environment here, and it has a full day to night. The night looks good. Like, this isn't bad at all, uh, especially, let's light up the headlights here. Like, look at that. I mean, you don't really get great night lighting with a lot of uh, the different maps in BMG and I'm talking like even the default ones the ones that are co that come in the game night lighting is not really a thing but in here this is this is usable like this looks good there's nothing wrong with the light night lighting here I love the reflections off the road like it is a gorgeous map to look at here in BMG drive Oh, there we go. We hit another speed camera. I don't know where we're cruising to. I Like I said, I'm not familiar with the map itself since I haven't played the game. Uh, it just, when I was zooming around in free cam earlier, it was, it's big. Like, it is really big. A lot of really cool locations, and there's a lot of, like, diverse, uh, different styles of locations. Like, it's not just all big city here. Like, we can go to one of the other districts here, so we'll go ahead and cruise through this section. Uh, are the cops... They're not angry at me right now. I haven't broken the wall, surprisingly. Uh, even though I'm driving in the oncoming lane. Oh, there we go. Uh, I think they're angry at us now. All right, let's get moving. Uh, I love the lighting in the tunnels. There is a little bit of a, a shift in there. This map is still being worked on. Uh, I don't know. I just might just be a thing. Uh, when you go in and out of tunnels, you get a little bit of lighting change there. Uh, but yeah, I mean, it looks good. When you get down in there, you've got the nice... Uh, bright lights off the tunnels and you get out here of course it's just mostly i mean there is certain like little lights coming off the bridge i think but it's uh, a little bit darker out here of course oh my goodness okay uh might want to pick a vehicle that turns a little bit better haul we got to go back to the other camera real quick uh i love that thing and oh my goodness it switched to it for a moment there <laughs> well okay so there wasn't a collision mesh on the uh on the pole back there we were saved uh, so Tully's going to go ahead and switch it back to uh, daylight here. So yeah, crash camera. That is a thing. Hold on. Let's run into something really fast. And oh, there it is. Oh, I love that. Dude, it just, I mean, maybe the Need for Speed games did get this camera too. But I mean, it just reminds me of the burnout camera. 
Uh, I love that. But it is optional. You you can turn it off if you don't like it when you're playing this map. But to me, I, I really do like it. I think it's really cool. But my goodness, she's pretty. And like I said, there is a controller that you can uh, pop up. So if I hit escape here, and then look, I can pull it up on the screen here. And there's different styles of color correction that you can do. Uh, the default actually looks like this, which kind of doesn't look as, uh, I would say, I want to say it's kind of like a, a hue, like an orange hue or uh, maybe more like a brown. Like some people might actually like this look. I think this one looks pretty decent too. It's a little bit cleaner looking to me, uh, a little less shaded, but I mean, either way, you can't really go wrong with the lighting on this map. Oh my goodness. Okay. Cops are back after us here. All right, let's take off. Oh, I feel like we're going to have to grab a little bit of a bigger vehicle. And that was like the second mod I wanted to show off today. Uh, I feel like the two mods are going to complement each other actually quite well on let's see if we can make a little turn here slide it around oh also i love the whole fact that the roads are like soaked uh, it looks like it just rained and you do see some splashing uh when you hit certain areas uh which i think is a really nice uh touch oh my goodness oh we're about to test that crash camera oh my what the heck also i love that when it goes in that slow-mo it looks so freaking smooth and yep uh, we have broken the car. So yeah, I just wanted to show you some features of this map, but I've got the perfect vehicle that's going to complement it. And let's go check that out right now. And that vehicle is going to be the LAPV. This is a armored Stambeko. It is absolutely fantastic. Now, if you do download this mod, quick note, read the instructions, please, because there is a, uh, a bit of an issue with it right now, I'm sure it'll get patched up, that it spawns with a stock block. Uh, you need to switch it to a stage two performance one. If not, the engine will blow literally after like 20 seconds. Uh, but once you get that corrected, it is good to go. Now, <laughs> here's a good question. Uh, now that we're driving this, are, am I a police vehicle right now? Or are they gonna actually chase me? Uh, we might need to be taking down some suspects. Look at the bumper on this thing. It is absolutely insane. And you know what? I feel like this is a, a match made in heaven this map this vehicle here uh by the way one more uh feature which i'm gonna miss some features about this map uh you can actually play the original soundtrack from the game and i believe there's uh, like a radio ui that you can pull up uh for the sake of this video i'm not gonna be able to pull it up because i do believe it's probably uh, copyright music uh but that's just another thing if you guys are playing around with this uh go check it out uh but yeah uh let's go run something over here let's see if we can take it off uh, i'm hoping that i'm not a police vehicle uh, but we're about to figure that out. Plus, we're going to see... Wait, there they go. They're pursuing me. I am not. That's perfect. Boom! Oh, my goodness. Okay, the front bumper on this thing, with it being ginormous, uh, this is perfect. Oh, wow. Okay, that was a good smash. Oh, and no, there's my crash camera. I mean, technically, we survived. The vehicle's in good shape. Oh, we're going to need to flip this thing back over. Hold on, let's go. Oh, come on. Come on. Flip, flip over for me, please. There we go. I don't even have like a thing. I'm just gonna reset it. I don't have a set escape point or anything for this right now. I'm just enjoying just checking out the map and driving this thing around. Uh, so we're just gonna keep going. Uh, we're gonna smash as many cops as possible. I uh, see, besides flipping over, like what will actually stop this thing and all of its armored plating? Also, I like the whole fact that it does have the upgraded engine because obviously it's probably gonna be a little bit heavier now uh, with all the armor on it. So it's not only like, hey, it's got armored parts this thing has the engine to back it up and this might be like an unstoppable force uh, this is crazy looking Han let's uh let's check out that cinematic camera real quick okay I would definitely have to adjust it for this one and maybe set it up a bit because we are looking at the butt of this vehicle so maybe we're gonna stay in a free cam but I had to pull out that camera at least for the uh the first little bit that we did because my goodness it it makes it look ridiculous. Watch out. Oh, I'm going to hit the lands down. Oh, my goodness. Dude, it doesn't even budge the freaking bumper. Like, did it move at all? I think it might have slightly moved. Maybe the supports on it bent slightly. This might be, like, one of the new strongest vehicles. I mean, it's not the tank, but I do find that the tank gets stuck a lot. Also, there is something lodged. Uh, we might have to hop out real quick for the cops get back to us. Oh, there it goes. Okay, it popped out. There was a uh, debris stuck in there. But yeah, this might be like one of the new strongest vehicles in Beam and G. Like it's, it might be unstoppable. If you can only find a way to maybe like cover the tires a little bit and try to keep debris from getting in there. But I mean, it's going to be pretty much impossible. And oh, oh this is so lovely. I I'm just having fun doing this, just driving around. Oh, and I need to back it. Uh oh, wait. 
Okay, I think they found a way to stop me. <laughs> maybe we should stick Jados on this. You know, maybe we maybe we shouldn't do that. That might be a bit too much. By the way, look at the lights on this thing. Uh, you got the top little lights. There's lights in the front above the bumper. Uh, is there any lighting in the rear? Uh, it looks like the police or whatever kind of style of lights you want to call it are only at the top. Don't see any lights in the rear. It seems like everything's pretty much focused in the front. Oh, I'm going to take a quick look at the inside. That That's pretty insane looking here from the uh, stand back. I was seeing those little uh, cage pieces. Uh, it kind of limits the visibility a little bit, but it's actually not its not bad at all. I mean, you can still see right through them. I mean, probably not great for the video. You guys want to be able to see, but uh, I do like that quite a bit. Hey, look, we found the airport. Can I go through that? I don't think I can. I was about to say, I, I might be able to drive through that. Uh, it's fine. We're just in the pickup lanes here. And oh, okay. I think we might have found another weak point here. So that bumper does set quite a ways up. So I could picture that stuff could get lodged below it. That car, the ETK almost kind of went below it there. We hit it so hard. So maybe not running everything over, but if you got to hit, you know, a cop or so, I mean, you're definitely going to be able to do it. Uh, no question. But yeah, trust me, folks, this isn't the only video you're going to see on this map. I, I do have some ideas with this one, and I, I want to do more with it. Because honestly, uh, even though it is technically it's just a port uh this feels amazing and it's such a cool looking map and i look forward to the updates the whole fact that this thing uh is gonna get potentially some dynamic weather uh would be awesome like if you're just driving around it starts raining on you i mean the day to night uh transition the author has nailed it like it, it already looks really really good okay i just did a big loop i thought maybe i was go it shows you how lost i am on the map that's why i'm not going like hey let's do a police escape i can find where the point is because i have no clue where i'm going I just, all i know is we're at an airport so we're gonna go out of this and see where this big tunnel takes us it might take us back to the main city uh but yeah there's quite a bit also i do believe there was dlc for this game which added a new area uh, that is included in this map too uh, so like i think the complete experience from that game is in here all right we're cruising out i'm surprised the cops are not angry at me right now i'm pretty sure i'm speeding and i i think i've ran through several things i mean uh maybe i need to hit another cop head on no nah, maybe not head on you know what? maybe we'll just go on the oncoming not purposely hit anything though oh there they go okay so they're after us uh you see we're on 92 right now i don't know exactly where we're going I'm, I'm assuming the city's around here somewhere oh don't do that why would you pull in front of me oh there we go well that's how you use the bumper we, they didn't get stuck or anything there they just kind of bounced off all right uh let's get moving through the tunnels here uh, oh wow that was super aggressive they were going in the the wrong lanes there you don't really see that a lot from the uh beam and g police a lot of times they're really hesitant about things but they were pretty committed to trying to take me down there also look there's a another like highway below us uh, are we looping around? I think we're looping around at this. Uh, it'll be good and get on a highway and just be wide open here. Uh, watch out. We got cops trying to pull a roadblock here. Nope, not going to happen. Uh, all the uh, AI traffic, they're just stopped here. Probably really confused. Uh, let's see. Read. Okay, the airport's up that ramp. Uh, it looks like the... I'm not sure what that says. It just says 92 down there. Let's go up this highway real quick and see where this winds up taking us. The 92 North, uh, it's going into Hodges Airport, and there's a canyon up here. And oh my goodness, there's a sweet oh, Okay, I was thinking about taking it, but I kind of figured that was not going to be uh, a thing. Maybe we shouldn't go that way. I'm going to go up through here. There we go. Oh, they are ramming us. Oh, I, I love the change in environments here. This is uh, good. All right. No, 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 no. Okay, there we go. <laughs> I mean... It doesn't turn the greatest. Also, did I? I think I felt to mention this. It's another new feature. When I think about it, it pops up. The gas station's working here. So if you need to go get gas, uh, you can go get some gas. Hold on. Should we? Uh, do we have time? I mean. Yeah, I've got time. I, I used up a little bit of fuel here. Watch out, cops. Uh, you guys got gas. Is this a gas station? Or is this? Actually, this kind of looks like a mechanic shop. This is auto repairs. This might not be what we're looking for here. Uh, not one of the gas. I know it does have working gas stations. Uh, I haven't been able to play with them. Oh my goodness. Oh, that's why I was saying we're probably going to have to come back to this map because there's probably going to be features I'm going to miss here and I want to come back to, but there are working gas stations. I can't assure you. Oh my goodness. What in the Wait, He just bounced off there. That was perfect. Oh, here comes another police officer in. Sorry, losers. Uh, I got to go uh, do stuff and meet people. So you guys just enjoy your time there. You know what? I see Hughes Park. Uh, let's go this way and see where this takes us. Yeah, I mean, I think it's already settled. I think about it like we got to do some multiplayer 
police chases, like uh, some sort of either a massive one or maybe like a transport chase. Uh, if it works well enough in our uh, multiplayer, hopefully you guys will see that. Because, uh, I mean, the roads, everything's just set up so perfect that I, I would love to be able to play with some people on this map. I mean, the, the beam and Jeep police aren't that bad. I mean, they're pretty easy to do that, too, and just kind of knock around. Sorry, buddy. <laughs> uh, oh, look at that. Oh, you can see the city. All right, so we're coming back up to it. Uh, oh, jeez. Oh, 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 come on. Keep sliding. Oh, watch out, cop. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, but the armored vehicle keeps going. Yeah, I, even though the big bumper is really good, I think that might be really its only weak point. Like, it, stuff gets stuck behind it or under it. Uh, you can still certainly use it, though. It is a pretty good battering ram. Uh, but yeah, you just kind of have to be a little bit careful. But man, this thing could take a absolute beating. Also, that was a very ineffective roadblock. And the cop took out its buddy there. Oh, there goes another one. <laughs> Thankfully, the crash cam does, doesn't kick in for, like, the AI cars. Because, uh-oh. Oh. oh. That was a little bit too big of a vehicle to hit. That Lansdale is stuck in my bumper. Oh, folks, it, it might be over here. I, I might not be getting out of this one. Yep, we've exchanged insurance. How do you even, like, what does the insurance look like when you when it says that? It's like, what happened? I got hit by a giant armored vehicle. I mean, I'm sure it's happened before. So real quick, I'm just zooming across. This is where I was heading. There's like a little marina over here. And then Hughes Park, which I'm thinking it was like an outdoor park. It actually leads back in here uh, to the main city area. You know, I need to go back and read the features list. I could have swore I was a different color earlier. And when passing through this, it changes the color of your vehicle. These little stations. This isn't, I don't think this is a fuel station, obviously, but it's like a paint station. Okay. I don't know how I even missed that. Yeah, I was thinking about it. I was like, oh, maybe I just have the time on and the sun was hitting the vehicle that I was in previously or the uh, the color. I was thinking, oh, maybe the sun hit it and it just it lit it up a little bit. But no, it actually changed the color on it. <laughs> this is why Komodo has to go over things several times. Uh, not the brightest one when it comes to noticing things immediately. But yeah, you will be seeing this again here soon. But both these... Oh, <laughs> That was a good crash camera. Uh, both of these mods will be linked down in the description. Go show the authors some love, and we'll see you guys next time here in BMG Drive.